Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. And today, I was looking through some different things, and there's something that you guys need to know. There is a way to make Stable Diffusion pump out images in shockingly small amounts of time. For myself, on a 7900 XTX, I was able to get an image to render in under one second, and the results are frankly pretty darn good. So let's take a look at how we can speed up our inferencing time by two times, three times, five times, and pump out images at a staggeringly fast rate. For folks who may not be following AI super intently, some people may have missed the fact that there are something called LoRa's, L-O-R-A, and it is a way of increasing the inference time so that when you're building an image, you can have far fewer steps in order to get really, really high quality images. Now, along with this, there are a few caveats. One of the caveats is that the CFG scale has to be way down. Generally speaking, between one and two is about as high as you can put it. If you were to use a CFG scale of seven, which is the default, it's going to build you something that looks very bad. So we don't wanna do that. But as long as you keep the CFG scale down between one and two, you can pump out images in effectively no time at all. So what are we doing to make this happen? Well, we're using these LCM LoRa models. And let's take a look at how we can install those. To get your LCM LoRa models, just like many other things, we're gonna come over to Hugging Face here, and we're gonna look for this latent consistency LCM LoRa, and they have a handful of different ones to choose from. There is LCM LoRa SDXL, SDV 1.5, SSD 1B, and so the one that I'm going to show you, of course you can get all of them if you want, but the one that I'm gonna show you is this Stable Diffusion version 1.5 LCM LoRa. Click into there, go over to Files and Versions, and what you will do is you will download this PyTorch LoRa Weights dot Safe Tensors. All you need to do, click the Download button, and <laughs> unlike about everything else, this is only 135 megabytes, so it is incredibly small. So now let's see where this file lives. And you'll see that here's this PyTorch LoRa Weights. And then all you need to do is go into your Stable Diffusion. So here I have Stable Diffusion Web UI. Click on Models. Click on LoRa. And just take your model and move it into there. And then once you do that, you will want to rename this file. When you go to rename this file, I would use the exact same name as what you downloaded, this lcm-lora-sdv1-5. Once you move the file over, go ahead and go back into Stable Diffusion, go to the Settings tab, go to User Interface. Inside of User Interface, go to this Quick Settings list, and what you're going to do is just type in Lora and then you will see this SD underscore LoRa. Go ahead and click on that SD underscore LoRa, hit the apply settings and hit reload UI. Once Stable Diffusion reloads for you, you will see that you now have this add network to prompt. 
And this is where you will choose this LCM-LoRa-SDV1-5. Go ahead and put that in. Choose effectively whichever model you feel like. I'm using Dream Shaper 8. Type in a prompt. I've gone ahead and typed in a random prompt that just came to mind. It's a human fairy with wings, magical wand, crown of, crown of ivory, ivy leaves, long curly blonde hair, green sparkly dress. And I set one of my styles that I've created previously that is supposed to help generate photorealistic people. So now that we have that set, we are going to drop down to 10 steps. We're going to change the CFG scale to 1.5, and I'm going to change the sampler to Euler. After that, since I have SDXL styles, I'm actually going to disable that. And then that is it. Hit the generate button, and in no time at all, we now have what seems to be a reasonable fairy with wings, magical wand, crown of ivy leaves, well, her crown is not ivy leaves, but that's okay. So with this, we've now found ways to make our fast rendering cards render even faster. And so with this, you can effectively play around with a lot of settings. I used Euler specifically as a sampler because it works well with this. You will notice that an awful lot of sampling methods do not produce good results. So here I changed it to DPM++ 2M SDE. Hit generate. And yeah, it does not look good. Even if we pump up the sampling steps, it still looks very odd. That one's significantly better, but the idea is to have fewer sampling steps and still be producing really good results. And so as just a bit of a test, I'm going to show you if you want to use these LoRa's, how to go ahead and figure out the ones that are going to work the best for you. Since we're generating images in under one second, we can safely do an XYZ plot. And these plots, effectively, we can measure different things. Now, as I said, the CFG scale, you really want to be between one and two. And so what we can do is we can say that we are going to change things on the CFG scale. We're going to put in 1.0, 1.0. 1.5 and 2.0 and we're going to comma space in between them and then let's say we want to also measure sampling methods and so for that we're going to put in Euler A and Euler I know for a fact these ones work fairly well and we'll try a couple of these ones down at the bottom. And so this XYZ plot is basically going to say, okay, create the image from prompt using 1.0 for the CFG scale and do it across all of these different samplers. And then at the 1.5, do it across all of these samplers. And then at the end, it's going to come up with a thing that tells us effectively what they all look like. So I think I'm running seven different samplers at three different CFG scales. And so effectively, this is what it came up with. So this is all CFG1, CFG1.5, and CFG2. And along with that, you'll see that these two actually generally look pretty good. CFG2 for Euler started to get a little rough. UniPC looks kind of okay, but it's kind of blocky and pixely. PLMS went from bad to worse. 
DDIM, actually 1.5 is not too bad. It may be difficult to tell from the video. This one's just a little blocky. It's almost pixely. And 2.0 was okay. Restart, one was bad, 1.5 was slightly better, two was better, but still not good. And DPM++2 SA Keras, 2.0 actually was not too bad. We could potentially use this at an even maybe higher level without it getting too broken. But one was bad and 1.5 was slightly better. I'll have links down in the video description that show you which LoRa models I'm using. Um, for this particular demo, I was only using this LCM LoRa SDV15. They do have LoRa's for SDXL, as well as this SSD1B. So if you are using SDXL or SSD1B, you wanna make sure that you get the correct ones. Thank you so much for watching my videos, home labbers and engineers. I create and edit all of these videos on my own, so any likes and subscribes will massively help out the channel and allow me to continue creating content to help people. If you got value out of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to be notified when new content drops. If there's something I've not covered but you would like to see a video on it, please leave a comment down below. And again, a massive thank you to everyone. I hope you have a great day.